Hi everyone! A happy new years! I hope that this year we're gonna make a lot of videos. Um, since the triplets are getting bigger, I think I'm gonna have a little more time. So today, for the first video of the year, I'm gonna make Peppa Piggy. I have so many emails and questions on how to make it easy, like everybody can make cake topper or even cupcake topper if you want to make little little tiny you can make little tiny and make in the cupcake but i'm gonna use, make a easy cake topper there's no styrofoam balls underneath no structure no any anything like that it's easy everybody gonna be able to do it so we're gonna start with the red gum base just make her body you make a bow and then you go back and forth on one side and make kind of like that's cone the cone shape for her body and the pink gum paste or fondant if you're making for cupcake use fondant even if it's a little soft the kids can eat because gum paste nobody gonna be able to eat because it gets hard i know that's edible but nobody really is gonna eat that so i'm using gum paste right now because i'm making the cake topper a little bigger but you guys can use it use fondant to toiloids if you don't want to buy gum paste so with the pink you're just gonna make a ball like that Try to use your hands, your palm of your hands, not the fingers to don't make any scratches or fingerprints. And with your one finger, you're going to go up and down, up and down like a did. Um, sorry, I got out of the camera. Here we go. Um, use your fingers to get all the marks out and to pull that part. You know, that little nose that she has, like weird, it's a weird shape, big. Um, and squish her a little because she's not round she's more like a cartoonish big so you do that and then you're gonna cut all that part to do the finishing right there right like that and just soft the edges so you don't have any harsh edges or anything right there and remember if it's a cup cake topper you're going to squish an icing it's fine but if it's a cake topper you need to worry about the back side too if it has no cracks or anything because people go around the cake so you're going to see that and you're going to that push your finger right there just to mark that part and here we go you have her face check if you like the size with the body she has a really big head so i think for my size is good and also guys if you think then it's hard for you guys to understand how big it is because i think sometimes it's hard for you to make the size but depends how big you want to be but if you want it i can start measuring like waiting get a scale and a weight to see how much i'm using so you guys have an idea and exactly so let me know underneath like leave me a comment below if you guys want that you're gonna do just a little cone like that for her ears and you place right on the back and you're going to do the same thing right there you make a ball run in your hands and you go together to make this little tear long teardrop and you place right there it's very soft here because florida is already hot so um i don't need water but if you need water or tylo is with water you know the edible glue you can use too don't forget um, to check on the back that's what i was doing because i kind of put her head on my rings that's a good thing to you good tip chip take your rings off <laughs> but i don't know why i always do and i forgot so i press my ring on the back so that's how what i was fixing so now you're gonna get a little bit more pink i always play with the gum paste and fondant on my hands um, to get my hand temperature i think it's easier to mold so that's why sometimes you see me just brushing you know just playing with the dough a little you're gonna make a little snake right there and you're gonna cut in half i thought it was too long because she has really tiny legs they're not like long and really skinny like for her body so that's that you just make a little row and you cut and you just press right there here we go i put both together just to measure if they were the same size and you put it there i'm trying to figure out the best way to film my videos so my hands are not coming out or not always in front of you guys um but i don't want to film in other directions because i want you guys to see what i'm seeing so you can see closer but let me know if that's good um you're gonna make a little bow and you roll like you did before you're gonna leave one of the sides a little fatter <laughs> if you say but the little ball right there you see it's like it's skinny 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 but has a little side and it's a little uh, bigger 
That's why you're gonna flat and we're gonna make her hands. She has three fingers, I believe, because I checked in the video. <laughs> and you're gonna use this is a little tiny bird scissor than you find in any sewing store like Michael's, even Walmart. I use because it's very tiny, so it's easy to cut little pieces like that. But you can use anything. And then you cut and then you just use your fingers to smooth it out everything to give a little finish right there see that's it she has no mystery on her arms because like princesses arms and things like that and the real is more difficult but she has like three little fingers and you're gonna do all over again for the other side you just leave a little one of the sides a little more dough and then you flat and you're gonna cut it again she has three little fingers I always don't like I think I saw I said that before in another video. Don't like uh, to watch videos on people I filming it themselves making it because it's like the other way around and that freaks me out because I can't really see it. So I thought that this way is the best way. But please let me know because I'm making all this video together. They're probably gonna say that in the next video too because I'm making today. <laughs> I'm filming today. But um I hope you guys gonna be able to see it right i cut it a little bit the fingers because i thought that was too big for her body so that's why i say because it's hard to say measurements because i always look at what i'm making to see what i like on them but um if you put it next to her and you think that their arms are too long or the fingers are too long just cut it and smooth it out of it, everything again and you just place right there i thought it was a little too long and here we go and now i'm gonna measure the other arm next to that one so we know um if it at least they are the same size <laughs> and you place to the other side of her body here we go you can put it her arms up or holding something um i'm making the easier way so who never made it before and want to make for your kid and i want everybody to be able to to make it so since I'm making a cake topper I need to use a toothpick to hold the head because it's heavy but every time then you do this for yourself for a friend or a customer let them know then has a toothpick there I know the gum paste gets very hard nobody's gonna buy it but anyway just let everybody know if you have two peaks with skewers anywhere and your cake toppers and your cakes so people are aware and not gonna bite it and get hurt I just flat a little bit the end of her nose mouth nose i don't know it's weird so we can do the finishing right there i'm with the white gum paste i'm gonna make two little balls and place on her face for the eyes see i make the two little balls together so i know they're the same size i flat down on my fingers and i place right there she has the her both eyes are the same size of the face that's what the cartoon um, shows everywhere I look I thought it was weird but I was like you know I'm <laughs> sure the way it is so you place both sides at the same size like that and now um, you can use black um, gum paste for the the middle of the eyes or you can use the edible pen you can use anything uh, this is a knife tool I guess um, calls I don't know the name but I call a knife too if you guys are looking for tools because I got a bunch of emails asking for the tools and I made all of eyes or polka dots and mini and I'm gonna have all the tools soon on the website so please let me know if you guys need something just send an email for cupping cakes gourmet at gmail.com and I will let you guys know where it is see we made that drawing around to separate the nose and the face and the two little nostrils right there and now I just made a little bow and flat because she has a big cheek right there. Um, you can even make a little the other color because some days on the cartoon she has that a little darker. But I thought it would look better right there. Um, and now we need to make her um, mouth. You can draw with the edible pen or you can use a little skinny um, gum paste snake too. But I'm you gonna use I'm to go so just gonna mark with the tool. It's just looking for a tool. Here we go. I'm just gonna mark the smile right there. 
I'm gonna have probably um, all the tools soon because I half of my emails are asking about the tools that I'm using so I'm gonna try to figure out how, the way to bring for you guys I have some um, let me know if you guys are looking for and with the black gum paste I'm gonna make the eyes as I said before you can use um, the black gum paste or you can use uh, edible pens be careful with black because black makes everything black your fingers so if you touch behind her head if you finger is dirty or black you can make a mess so be careful with your fingers on the black gum paste um, and you're gonna place the other one I hope you guys um, can see it well um, please let me know in a, in a comment below um, if you guys like the way the camera set up it is I make a little shadow in my hands but I think you guys can see pretty well like that I hope <laughs> let me know um, now what is missing is missing the shoes so with the black again we're gonna make her shoes we make we're making her sitting down because it's the easy way for somebody that never made a cake topper before to make it but you can make her sitting up just place a toothpick and like in the middle of her legs and you place right there the shoe you just make a little bow and you flat the back so it looks like is on like she's wearing the shoe and you just press right there if it's not sticking again use a little water or edible glue if you guys don't know how to make edible glue and you asking me how to make it uh, if you want a video so to be sure how to make it please let me know I can easily do that for you guys this year I'm trying 2015 trying to make more videos um, I hope this time they are getting growing up and they're gonna have more time and that's it this is Peppa, Peppa Pig and the cake topper you can make small for a cupcake topper and I hope you guys like it please like the video if you like and let me know why it's going to want to learn thank you so much bye